We're at Universal Studios Orlando and I'm about to get on one of my all time favorite Universal rides, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother bringing you all the magic Universal, Disney, and Florida have to offer plus size people. And today I'm at Universal Studios Orlando and I'm getting ready to go on ET the Extraterrestrial. Now back when Universal Studios Orlando first opened, I was a student at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. Used to come to Universal Studios all the time and this was one of my favorite rides. But it's been more than two decades since I've been here and been on this ride, so I'm excited to try it again. I know that there are some challenges for people of size on this ride, so I'm going to ask for an accessible seat that's available to anyone who needs it or might have difficulty accessing a standard seat. The standard seats on this ride are kind of like getting on a bicycle seat. They have accessible seats that work for people of different sizes and different physical capabilities. Those seats are more like a bench seat that you can slide into and sit on very easily, so I'm going to request one of those. There's a few things I wanna do before I board this ride. First, I wanna share with you my personal information to let you know if this ride will work for you. I am five feet four inches tall, I weigh 350 pounds, and I wear US women's sizes four or five X or size 30. Let's go have a look at the warnings for this ride and see if there's anything you might want to be aware of. Okay, here's the warning board for ET's adventure. The ride simulates a dramatic chase through the forest on a flying bicycle. Movement of the bicycle includes sudden tilting and acceleration. Now here are some conditions you should be aware of that you should not have if you're going to ride this. Heart conditions or abnormal blood pressure, back, neck, or similar physical conditions, expectant mothers, motion sickness or dizziness, medical sensitivity to strobe effects, medical sensitivity to fog effects, recent surgery or other conditions that may be aggravated by this ride. To avoid serious injury, they ask that you remain seated at all times, keeping hands and feet inside the vehicle. Supervise your children. Guests under 34 inches may not ride the ride, and children between 34 inches and 48 inches must be accompanied by a supervising companion. You may remain seated in a standard wheelchair throughout this ride. If you're using an ECV, you have to see an attendant and they'll help you out. Guests with service animals should also see an attendant for access information. ECVs are not allowed in the queue of this ride, but there is a parking spot for them. Wheelchairs are allowed in the line and you can borrow one from Universal to get through the line. Strollers are only allowed through the line if you have a special stroller pass, so your stroller needs to be a medical device. Well, I enjoyed that ride very much. Um, I wanna make sure you understand, I am not allowed to film on any of the rides. That is a policy across the board with Universal Studios, and because I respect their policies, I follow them. I was gonna show you a little bit of the queue, but it was incredibly dark in there, and nothing was showing up on my camera, but it is a beautiful queue. It is almost completely indoors and air conditioned, very comfortable. They do offer child swap for this ride. So if your child is too small to ride and you still wanna go on it, you can take advantage of child swap. I am very glad that I took advantage of the accessible seat. It is a long bench. When you go to board the ride, you have a short step up of just a few inches and it's very easy to walk facing forward onto the ride and sit down on the bench comfortably. The lap bar for this ride is actually pretty comfortable. The lap bar for the modified seat is the same as the lap bar for all the seats and actually that lap bar is very accommodating. The issue on this ride with the seat for people of size isn't the lap bar, it's the actual seat itself. On this ride, each person sits in a seat that's very much like a modified bicycle seat. Really, really big, it's a little bit elongated, there's that little hump in the middle that you would have on a bicycle seat, but the sides of the seat are scooped up on either side. If you sit on the very end of the row, there's a railing, an armrest railing on either end of the row, and between each seat, there's like a little grab bar and that's where you'll have the problem because the seat is scooped up on the sides and there's a little metal bar there. It would be hard to fit between that 
if you're a person of size. So I would definitely ask for a bench seat before you get in line. Let them know you're gonna need that. They'll tell you exactly what you need to do. I highly recommend talking to one of your team members before you even get in line and letting them know what your special needs are and they will tell you exactly how you can be accommodated. I definitely recommend this ride. I think it's a lot of fun for many people. However, if you do have epilepsy or other photosensitivity or issues with fog, I would avoid this ride for sure. There are strobing lights throughout and there's also like a emergency vehicle type lighting and there's fog as well. The style of this ride vehicle is very open and as a matter of fact, you're on a track that's up above your head very much like you would have with Peter Pan. And although there are some twists and turns in the ride, they're rather gentle. However, the entire ride vehicle can tend to list a little bit back and forth. So if you do have motion sickness, you might not enjoy this ride. Overall, it is a very gentle ride. It's got a tiny little bit of thrills in there, just enough for kids, but nothing too much to scare them. It's a great ride for a lot of family members. I do recommend trying this ride. Thanks so much for joining me on ET the Extraterrestrial. I hope all of your rides are magical. And remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride.